Welcome to Wallatopia. We appreciate you being here. As always, please go to wallatopia.info and register if you already haven't. And remember, Wallatopia is where you go when you want to know anything and everything there is about the world of wallets. And the reason why is we buy every wallet. No, no, that's right. Nobody buys our reviews. Now, today I'm going to take you through my carry experience with the Fox R02 Accountant. But before we get into my personal assessments, likes and dislikes, let's just do a quick review of the features of this. You can see the full review of this wallet up here. Now, by way of features, on the exterior we don't have anything in particular. We do have this elastic strap here, and this is what actually holds this flap down, and, uh, and it keeps it all nice in a solid footprint. If we see this right here, this is a pull strap, and the pull strap is what uh, pulls your quick access cards out from the wallet itself, and this is awesome. Love this, and the fact that this isn't RFID means that this is tap capable. You can actually use that to, to pay with this wallet. If we undo this strap, it takes us into the secondary features, and of course we have an elastic here, and this elastic provides access into additional cards you put right here. These are more cards you don't access very often, uh, otherwise you have to get in here with the, the elastic and dig into them and, and whatever. And then of course in the back here we have that where cash is stored. Interestingly enough, uh, they they not they don't do the full layout cash and wrap method. They do a half folded cash insert and it folds this way. It's different. I kind of like it actually because it's not a bad way to, to hold your cash. Uh, they also say you can hold coins in here. Really kind of question that. I think it's a uh, afterthought. But uh, with that, as a quick review of the features of the Fox R02 Accountant. Now overall, I really like the footprint of this wallet. It's very mm, similar to other wallets we've reviewed in the past, and the ability for this to carry cards and cash in supposedly coins is something I've always, I'm have always i always impressed with with wallet designers because this footprint is just so small here. Now for my likes. The footprint is great. Like I mentioned, the leather on the exterior feels really good. And right here, it's got a great uh, feel to it. Uh, it's a veg tan leather, and this will develop a wonderful patina over time. Sits in your pocket really nice, pliable. And in fact, it's leather. There's no metal in this, which makes it easy to forget about when you put other things in your pocket. When you have a metal-based wallet, of course, it can get scratched and scratch other things. Now, the rubber ring right here, I mentioned, this is what provides the ability to, in my mind, get gain access to this strap here. Otherwise, you gotta dig your thumb under here, your finger, try and get access to it. This is not for keys, it's rubber. It uh, is not gonna hold out that way, but it's great to grab onto it and use that to pull the strap on and off. Now for my dislikes. I wish this leather was finished better. We open this up here. Well, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see in the contrast against the white that this is beginning to fray. And uh, the edges have kind of a real rough cut on them. That really could have been finished better. Some simple burnishing would have done really good here. And for me, the flesh side of this leather is a little rough for my liking. It's okay, but this edge, that is what is really distracting on uh, what otherwise would be really a nice looking wallet. Another thing I, about this is this elastic here, I, I gotta show you. So this elastic obviously opens, holds in this flap here. And uh, when you put it in here, if you're, if you're not really super careful, this elastic begins to bind. Because if you pull it out and you just wanna grab it and throw it back, you've gotta do that and uh, it, it, in, it can end up binding because it's very thin. It's a very narrow and thin strap and it's attached here and really it just, it makes me not want to get into it because I have to always look to make sure it's not binding and twisting here. I also found that the pull strap right here, this piece will sometimes get tucked away by accident down into the cards here when you're pushing cards back in and it will sometimes get caught and it'll get shoved back in here and it's just, you know, the fact that it has a really kind of large sized pull strap uh, head here versus something that's really smaller, uh, I don't know, not not uh, not my favorite. And there you go, really not too bad. There's just a few annoying things with this, but for something that is, you know, so refined in its design, there were some finishing details on this that uh, I was expecting to be hmm, a little better. So there you go. If you'd like to get one of these wallets, please look at the links below. It's really not a bad wallet and something to consider for your collection. If you have any other comments, put them in the comments below for us and we'll get to them. And we appreciate you being here. We'll look for you in the next review. Bye.